10 of my absolute favorite pieces of backpacking gear. Look, I'm fickle. I have a lot of favorite gear and it keeps changing all the time. But today I just thought I'd go over 10 of those that are usually right there at the top no matter what changes in life. And I just thought I'd go over them real quick with you guys. The last one is the absolute essence of European craftsmanship. It just shows the fine work. And when I switched to it, I instantly dropped like 20 ounces for my pack weight. So make sure you stick around for that 10th one. And so with that, let's get right into it. And I know, I just was bragging about the European craftsmanship helping me drop like 20 ounces. And I must admit, this piece of gear is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. That's why I'm gonna get it out there right now because it's unspeakably awesome. And it is the Big Agnes Q Core Deluxe Sleeping Pad. Whoa, Thomas, it's like filling up the whole screen. Yeah, I know, okay. Look, the, there's nothing wrong with the pad itself. It's great, it's comfortable, it's R-rated above four. It is literally one of the most comfortable pads I've slept on. Big Agnes is a trusted quality brand. It's not the pad itself that is awful about this, it is the size of the pad that I've been using. Where I went wrong is this is like the uh, size quadruple X or something. This size is huge and it weighs a ton. However, I will admit on short trips like one-nighters or two-nighters where you're not going very far, low mileage, Bringing this thing along, nobody sleeps better than me on trail. I mean, this thing is 30 inches wide, so you can just sprawl out on it and it feels like you're at home on a bed. So here's the point with this though, okay? If you're looking for your ounces too, like you're looking to keep your ounces down, just get a size below this, uh, cause I accidentally ordered like the biggest size. So if you get the regular size, the 20 inches wide, it's a regular weight. It, it's gonna be about 25 ounces if you get the regular size. And this thing is absolutely luxurious. It is one of my favorite pads I've ever tried. All right, let's just move this thing out of the way. <laughs> this next one is perfect as summer's coming to an end. I know you're thinking about candied apples, fall leaves, pumpkin pie, frostbite, frostbite. Not if you have this jacket. All right, that might've been a little cheesy, but anyways, the, the jacket that we have today is the REI uh, 650 fill down jacket. The 650 fill down is going to ensure that the loft is great, it keeps you warm, and you're able to pack it down into your bag really easily. This jacket is absolutely super warm in the winter months. It is great for your backpacking trips, super durable also. This is going on the year two for it, and it shows like no tears, no marks. And of course, the weight comes in right at 10.9 ounces, so it is a great fit for you to bring along for your layering system. All right, I love talking about this next piece of gear because a lot of people think that they don't even need it until they try it and then they absolutely have to have it. And it's the Flextail Gear Tiny Pump 2X. So the Flextail Gear Tiny Pump 2X is the second version. They have a Flextail Gear Tiny Pump X. And this one's just like $10 more expensive. Uh, it's really nice. It, it, I think it lasts a little bit longer battery, but that, that's about the only feature I think that it adds. But I found it on Amazon and it's a battery run air pump. So it fills up your bag or I guess anything else you need to pump up around your house maybe. But this fills up your sleeping pad a lot faster than you could do it with your, uh, your breath and it doesn't wear you out after a long day of backpacking anyways. Also, when you breathe into your bag, it brings in moisture, which lowers the R value just a little bit. And so this thing uh, helps with that a whole lot. I mean, yeah, sure you could do it with your pump sack, but why if you don't have to? It also hangs up in your tent and lights up so you don't even need to bring an extra tent light. This breath saver is 3.3 ounces. The next item on my list also lights up is the Black Diamond Cosmo 350 headlamp, so I would sure hope it lights up. I love the quality of all Black Diamond products. They're super trustworthy and durable. I also have a tent light by the same company. Uh, before, I got the Flex Tail gear because now I don't even need to bring it, but it was great while I used it. This is an absolutely insanely bright headlamp and it's totally dimmable to whatever setting you want it to be at. It weighs 2.8 ounces with the batteries and this is absolutely must have. I bring it on every trip that I go on. The next piece of gear on my list also has to do with the sleep system. It's the Thermarest Compressible Pillow. This thing beats all inflatable air pillows. I don't care what you say. It is, I mean, it's a real pillow with real stuffing. It folds up to save space and it weighs only seven ounces. Between this pillow and that pad, when I go to sleep, man, I'm gone. This is also a must have on all my trips. I've talked about this next item a lot because I love its practicality, so you can check out my other videos. I don't want to talk about it too much, but it's the Grail Ultra Press water filtration water bottle. This thing's absolutely amazing. You just scoop up the water along the way, you squeeze it shut, and you can drink directly from the water, and it's filtered. This thing also filters viruses, unlike most other water filtration systems. So if you need to bring it with you, like while you're traveling to other countries, and you can take the hotel water, you know, because some hotel water is a little sketch, you can take the hotel water and filter that. It's super practical because you can just put it with you in any little cup holder or whatever, and it filters the water where you can drink directly from the water bottle. This thing is a little heavier, so if you're looking for some uh, lighter options, maybe don't bring this for your backpacking trips. 
but it is 12.5 ounces, so it's still doable. This next piece of gear isn't something that you probably hear people talk about a lot on backpacking channels, but I mean, I use it on all my trips, so I thought I should probably mention it to you. It's the Anchor Power Bank. I use my phone a lot just uh, for navigation and for general safety while I'm out on trail. So this I bring along just in case it dies or which it usually does die over the longer trips. And this will charge it absolutely. And then also if ever, I don't know, I just forgot to charge maybe my headlamp or something, I can have a little cord with me to charge that just in case. All Anchor products are really great. This thing can charge my phone like 10 times. Uh, so really any Anchor power bank would be great. This one might be a little bit large for you and you can get the smaller ones that just charge your phone maybe one or two times. That would be a great option for you as well. Those other smaller options are obviously less heavy. Mine is a little bit heavy. It comes in right at uh, 13 ounces. The next item up is the Sea to Summit Event Dry Sack. And this is awesome just because typically dry sacks are like so simple you would never mention it in a video because you'd like click off right now, but I urge you not to because this thing's super special. Basically it's called the Event for a reason. Uh, you can shove whatever you want to keep dry inside of it and you can close it without worrying about letting the air out. Just start rolling it down and squeezing it. It is also compression straps. So you can squeeze on the compression straps to bring everything in. The material lets air out, but doesn't let water in. So this means that it makes it super simple for you to crush it down to whatever size you need it to be. This dry sack weighs 5.9 ounces, and this is just a feature for a dry sack that I never knew I needed. All right, item number nine, I need my coffee. So this is the Sea to Summit X Brew. Used to, I... I have to admit in the beginning days, like the very beginning days, I would lug around like a whole French press. It was, un it was unnecessarily large and it was heavy and I regret that. So this is the Sea Summit X Brew. Basically this is all there is to it. You put this on top of whatever you want to put the coffee into. You put some coffee grounds in there, take hot boiling water, pour it over the ground slowly and then it will filter and make you instant coffee. And then if you want, you can actually run that coffee back through it again to be extra strong. When I switched to this simple uh, coffee dripper, it saved me on a whole lot of ounces. This thing only weighs three ounces. So if you're like me and you absolutely need your coffee on trail and you want it to taste decently good, go for the Sea to Summit X Brew. Number 10, the final item, this is the European craftsmanship that I was telling you about earlier in the video. And I mean, you can show me a Rolex, but I mean, this is where it's at. It is the Swiss Army multi-tool. Now I know that might seem anticlimactic after I said like, this thing is the absolute best thing in European craftsmanship, but I'm serious. Like this thing has saved me tens and tens of ounces on trail. And this is why. I used to bring with me a huge bushcrafting knife because I thought that's what I needed on trail because I thought I'd be hacking down trees and creating shelters or something. And look, if bushcrafting is your thing, then that's okay. You probably do need those tools. But for the average backpacker, we bring a tent with us so we don't need to make a shelter. And then most of the firewood that we collect in national parks has to be downed already anyways. So most of the time, you're just breaking up sticks and stuff to make a fire. So you don't need some big ax or machete or a knife. This has all the tools that I need in it. It has a knife, it has a file, it has some scissors on it, and then it has some tweezers, and it has a toothpick. I haven't used a toothpick yet, but the scissors are super handy because you never know what little tiny things you need to cut. These things are super sharp, so it's, it's great. You know, Swiss-made knives are known for their quality and for their durability. So this is an absolutely amazing knife. This thing is absolutely light as a feather. It's only 0.8 ounces. So when I went from my 30-something ounce huge bushcrafting knife to this 0.8 ounce knife that has everything that I need for backpacking, that's how I dropped like 30 ounces instantly. So I wasn't pulling your tail. This is absolutely something. So if you're looking around in your gear and you're like, you know what, I really don't need all this knife. Maybe look at one of these knives because it will save you ounces instantly. All right, you guys, so there you have it. There are 10 of my favorite pieces of gear. Like I told you, it changes all the time. So who knows, give it another year and I'll probably hell have another video out with 10 new pieces of gear that I love. But I just appreciate you guys uh, checking in. Uh, there's links in the descriptions for all the gear that I use and go ahead and check that out. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. Go outside, have fun, be safe. I'll see you next time.